Hello everyone, welcome back to this video. So in this video, we are going to talk about DES and the use of DES in Java. So DES or data encryption standard is a symmetric key cryptographic algorithm which is used to encrypt the data. So it basically works by taking a blocks of plain text and transforming them into a cipher text using a secret key. And the key that is going to be used is the same as well in the decryption process. So DES operates on a 64 bit blocks of data and it uses a 56 bit key. So which make it uh, a widely used encryption method for securing a information, basically a sensitive information across a uh, a computer network so however due to the advance in technology now DC is considered as a relatively weak uh, cryptographic algorithm and it has been replaced by more robust algorithms like AES that is advanced encryption standard so without too much delay so let's code and use a DES algorithm in Java so to use DES algorithm in Java so I will use the seven step process so in the first step we will generate a DES key and then we will use a cipher class to create an instance of a DES algorithm for both encryption and decryption and in step 3 we will initialize our cipher instance in a encryption mode and we pass the plain text to that instance of an algorithm and encode that uh, plain text using uh, a secret key and a DS algorithm in base64 format so that we can uh, have a readability for a cipher text and in step 6 we will again initialize our cipher in the uh, decryption mode and we use the same secret key to decode the encrypted text that is encoded in step 5 and we will verify the uh, decoded cipher text with our input text so let us implement this one so the first step is always take a user input so that we can encode um, the user input into a cipher text and vice versa and let us give some information to our users so that they can enter some uh, plain text and let us save the user input message in a user input variable so now in step uh, one um, is to generate our ds key so to generate a DS key, uh, let's first define our key using uh, a string data type. Secret key is equal to, you can use any key. So I will use a secret key. So now we need to uh, format this secret key in a, a DES key specification. To format this secret key in DES key specifications, we will use DES key spec class as shown here. So this is a part of a crypto library of Java. And then we will pass our secret key in a byte format. So now after creating our DES key spec, we need to pass this uh, DES key spec to a key factory class so that we can uh, get a DES secret key that is actually going to be used by our DS algorithm. So let's create an instance of a secret key factory. So this is given by crypto library as well of Java. Secret key factory, secret key factory is equal to secret key factory dot get instance of our DS algorithm. And after that, we need to uh, pass this key spec to the secret key factory so that we can have an actual secret key secret key secret key one so we have already used a secret key as a variable then we can use secret key factory or key factory or secret key factory dot generate secret key and let's pass our des key spec so this is our actual secret key that is used by our des algorithm to encrypt and decrypt our message so let us handle some exception here by adding um, throws keyword throws exception as well if there's some problem occur we will handle that exception so now step one is completed so we have generated our secret key to use in our ds algorithm so in step two we will uh, create an instance of a cipher to create an instance of a cipher we will use a cipher class so which is given by cipher cipher is equal to 
cipher dot git instance and then we will use a des uh, algorithm in ecb mode with pkcs5 padding okay so now we have a cipher so let us initialize our cipher in our encryption mode which is given by cipher cipher dot init and uh, we will initialize it in a encryption mode which is encrypt mode and then we need to uh, pass a secret key which is generated in line number 21 which is secret key one so now we have a cipher so in this cipher we will uh, encrypt our plain text by passing our plain text to our cipher instance so let's do that cipher dot do final so do final method will accept our plain text in a byte array so user input dot get bytes will return a byte array and so this is our cipher text so the, the cipher text written by the do final method uh, will be also a byte array so let's create a byte array and cipher text array so for the better readability we will convert this ciphertext array to a base 64 encoded string which can be done by calling a base 64 library base 64 dot get encoder and that we can encode to string encode to string and this method will accept a byte array which is our cipher text array so and then st store this in cipher text string so let us print this one using printf or println cipher text of user input data is So let us run our uh, code. So let's enter our message hello world for this. As you can see, so this is our ciphertext in base 64 encoded string. So now uh, let us decode this data as well. So let me copy this one. Or I don't need to copy this one because I have already stored this in a string ciphertext string. So let's uh, decode this as well. <coughs> so now to decode uh, our ciphertext, let us initialize our cipher in decryption mode. Cipher. And decrypt more and then we will pass our key that is the same key for decryption and then let's call our do final method do final and then we need to uh, pass uh, our cipher text so the thing that you need to remember is our cipher text string is in base 64 encoded string so we need to decode this one so let's record this one and get our byte array get decoder dot decode and pass ciphertext string here so this method will return <coughs> our original plain text and let us store this in a byte array as well data and now let us uh, print this decoded data as a string format so s out the decoded data is new string so if we pass a byte array in a string it will convert automatically to a string so decoded data so let us run our code
hello world so as you can see the the ciphertext of hello world is this one and the decoded string from ciphertext this ciphertext is the original plain text that is hello world so thank you for watching